Let's take a look at the number of valence electrons for tin, that's Sn. So if you look at the periodic table, it's kind of organized in a nice way that we look at group one, all of these have one valence electron. Group two, they have two valence electrons. We skip the transition metals, a little bit complicated. Group 13, sometimes called 3A, they have three and so on. But tin is what we call a post-transition metal. So let's look at the electron configuration and try to figure out how many valence electrons we have for tin. So this is the full electron configuration for tin. We have 50 total electrons here. If you count all these little numbers up, these superscripts adds up to 50. What's helpful is if we have krypton here, krypton, all of this is how we describe the electron configuration for krypton. So we can just replace that with Kr. Let's move that here to the center and make it a little bit bigger. So this is our condensed electron configuration. And we can see that we have our noble gas core and then we have all these valence electrons out here. For 10, it probably makes sense to count these in the fifth energy level as the valence electron. There are two plus two, four total valence electrons. But the other reason is that when tin forms ions, it's either going to be a two plus or a four plus. So it'll lose, for the four plus, it would lose these four electrons. For the two plus, it would just lose two valence electrons. So in our experience looking at chemical bonds, tin acts like it has four valence electrons. There is a definition for transition metals, and I assume this applies to post-transition metals, and that's that we count the valence electrons as the electrons outside the noble gas core. So you could, based on that definition, say that all of these are valence electrons. But in practice, these are the ones that are going to be involved in chemical bonds. The 4D10, since it's full, fairly stable, we're usually going to see these forming the chemical bonds. So therefore, probably best to say tin has four valence electrons. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.